Well, the scenes of chaos and violent clashes we are witnessing in the eastern city of Lahore have to do with Imran Khan's refusal to appear before a court uh, in a case in which he's accused of misdeclaration of proceeds from foreign gifts he received uh, as the Prime Minister. Now, he says he can't appear before the court in Islamabad because he fears for his life. Now, legal experts believe that uh, these are just delaying tactics on the part of Mr. Khan because if he appears before the court, he will be indicted in the case. Now, most experts believe the case is pretty strong and once he's indicted, the legal course will take maybe a few weeks or months to conclude in which he could be found guilty and hence disqualified. Mr. Khan is keen to avoid that and that is why he has hauled himself up in his uh, home uh, in Lahore. He's called on his supporters to gather in Lahore to resist the police and hence the clashes we've seen uh, this week and last week. This is a rather dangerous game that Mr. Khan is playing to avoid his arrest because the potential for violence and things getting out of control is high. Now we've seen the police exercising a lot of restraint. This week they backed off when Imran Khan supporters carrying sticks attacked the police. They were throwing stones at the police. Uh, uh, they fired tear gas uh, and, and they used water cannon to disperse the crowd. But in the end, the police were outnumbered by the supporters of Imran Khan. So this time, yes, we could say that Mr. Khan has prevailed, his popularity, his crowd has prevailed, his mob has prevailed. But what does this say about rule of law in Pakistan? The country has a long history of politicians being politically victimized, being put in jail. But I can't remember an instance where a popular leader has taken this course of action. They have almost always surrendered before the courts. They've been jailed. They've been accused of things that uh, were never proven. They've gone into exile. But never before I can remember a popular leader has tried to keep himself safe at his home while asking his supporters to attack the police and face the wrath of the law enforcement. Uh, this again uh, goes to show how Pakistani politicians uh, follow their narrow personal and sometimes political interest at the cost of the country. All this is happening at a time when the country is facing multiple challenges, uh, security challenges, economic challenges, industries are shutting down, uh, the rupee uh, has been massively devalued, uh, inflation is record high, the IMF deal is still not in sight. But unfortunately, that's not uh, being debated. No one is offering solutions to these multifaceted challenges the state of Pakistan faces. Uh, and, uh, and sadly, the, the, the attention is uh, focused on Mr. Khan, his tactics, his politics, his conspiracy theories, which in my view, uh, doesn't really help the country.